Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Storytime at the Tennessee State Museum with Miss Morgan. It's great to see you on this Friday. Man, I can't believe we're almost through the month of March. How exciting. I'm ready for springtime. I don't know about you guys. I'm ready for that springtime weather. So before we get started, let's check our schedule. Oh, it's time for our welcome song. Let's go sing that. Are you guys ready to sing our good morning song? So before we get started, let's practice and warm up those talking hands. So remember, our signs are happy and good morning. So let's practice one more time. So happy, take your hands like you're fanning yourself. Say happy and good morning. Take the fingers to your chin and say good morning. Great job. You guys are doing such a wonderful job. Good job. All right. So remember, we're going to sing it twice. So you ready? Good morning to you, and how do you do? I'm happy to see you. Good morning to you. Oh, great job. Ready again? Say, good morning to you, and how do you do? I'm happy to see you. Good morning to you. Oh, great job. Good, 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 good. Are you guys ready? It's now time for story time. Let's go. Good job, guys. Pat yourself in the back, say, good job, me. All right, let's check our schedule. We've sung our song, so it's now time for story time. All right, did you guys know that this week is the first day of spring? It's officially spring. I'm very excited. So I thought to honor the first day of spring, we would read The Very Hungry Caterpillar, which is one of my favorite books from when I was a kid. If you guys are ready, let's get started. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. This is a little egg. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a teeny tiny, very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, whew, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but was still hungry. And on Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. So on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. Say, oh. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that he felt much better. Let's see. He munched one, two, three, four, five. But now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, chunky caterpillar. Wow, look at that. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out, and <gasps> what's it going to be? He was a beautiful butterfly. Wow, look at all of those beautiful colors. The end. Whoa, I love this story. It's such a fun one. Uh, and it was one of my favorites as a kid, so I'm very excited that I got to read it to you guys today. So let's check our schedule. It's now time for our activity. So do you remember how our little tiny caterpillar was very hungry? You say very hungry. So I thought what we would do is we would make a fun bug snack. 
So you'll definitely need to help from an adult or maybe an older sibling because uh, you'll need to cut some fruit. So some of my favorite fruits are strawberries, bananas, and grapes. So I got a skewer and I made a caterpillar. You see my caterpillar here? And then I made my butterfly. You see my butterfly and the little banana is its head. And these are such a fun little snack. And you guys, you can have fun with this. You can make all kinds of bugs with fruits and vegetables. Just have fun. You can pick out your favorite fruits and veggies to make your own bugs with. And then since it is the first day of spring come, um, this week, you know, go outside, sit down, have a little picnic, enjoy your bug treat. I know I'm going to enjoy my um, strawberry butterflies in just a little bit. Uh, so let's check out our next thing to do. It's our artifact. So a lot of times in spring, people will start to plant gardens. So some people will plant big vegetable gardens and some people will plant flower gardens. Some people will plant both. And so I found these really cool seed catalogs right here from our collection. And so we actually still have seed catalogs today. These come from the 1900s. They're well over a hundred years old. But a seed catalog is pretty cool because, you know, back then you could go to a store, but they might not have the seeds you like, and the same is true today. So you can actually get a catalog from a company that sells seeds, and you can pick from hundreds of seeds. So let's say you want to pick, uh, you want two different types of roses, and you want some watermelon and some tomatoes. You can order all those seeds from catalogs just like that today. So that's pretty cool. I think that's really neat. So if you guys have um, fun at making your bug snack, please sure to upload a picture to our social media and have fun. And guess what? I have another activity for you that I just remembered. I'm very excited about this. So we're going to attach this to story time. You'll be able to download it and print it out. Um, but we're going to include a really fun nature scavenger hunt. So one of the cool things about the warmer, the warmer weather is that we can now kind of get outside and maybe take a little walk around our neighborhood. I know I like to do that. So we thought it might be really fun if we had a nature scavenger hunt. So go on a walk with your family, with your friends, and as you're walking, see if you can find some of these things in nature. And you don't have to live in the country. You can live in the city. There's some fun things. There's some butterflies and uh, grass, things like that. So it'll be really fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you enjoy it, let us know. We'd love to hear from you guys. And we will see you next week at Storytime with Miss Morgan. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Bye.